All right, so uh, the sun went down earlier, and um, I was power napping at the time. So uh, I got up, went through digging through my bag, trying to find my headlamp. Couldn't find it, so I'm already kind of uh, getting mad at myself because it shouldn't be that hard to find it. I usually keep it in the same place. And um, uh, I started walking. I stopped to... Uh, uh, go to the bathroom, and um, when I turned around to look back, I saw a pair of eyes looking at me, and uh, I was like, "Oh God, that's not good." Like they were, they were all lit up from the light on my lamp, and the eyes kept getting closer and closer, and uh, I was like, "Oh God, what kind of animal?" I knew it wasn't a dog because a dog would have certainly started barking at me by now, and uh, there was no houses around for. Goodness gracious, I mean, I haven't seen a house in probably 150 miles, maybe? It's been a long time. Um, so anyway, uh, the eyes keep getting closer to me, and then finally they get, like, uh, right up to where, like, this bush was. So I threw a rock, um, like, near the bush or whatever, you know, so it would, you know, scare the animal and run off, and that didn't work. I'm like, oh, boy. So uh, then I started making my animal noises, and that didn't work. So the animal was still coming at me. Well, um, it gets within probably 15 feet of me, and I could tell it was a fox because uh, it had a big giant tail on it. And uh, it was probably like a medium-sized dog about in size or whatever, maybe maybe three feet high by maybe three feet long, maybe something like that. I don't know. I don't know what a big dog or a little dog is, but if it was a dog, it'd probably be a medium dog. So, uh, anyway, it got within, like, 15 feet of me, and, like, it's still following me, you know, and uh, keeps getting down in, like, a, almost like a crouch position, um, almost like how you would see a cat, like, if a cat was playing with another cat, like it was going to pounce or something. So, uh, it got down in that position. I picked up another rock, and I nailed it. I nailed it right in the side, and... Um, it kind of like ran away, and uh, I pretty much did the same. I was just happy to get out of there, and uh, I hit this like little ravine or gully or canyon. I don't know what to call these things out here, but I had to climb like probably six, seven feet down into where I guess it was like a dried up old riverbed, and then another, um, you know, six feet to climb back out of it. So I figured I was pretty good. And, uh, you know, it wouldn't come find me. Well, about 15 minutes later, I see that same set of eyes looking at me. And uh, this time it was to, like, my right, just north of me. And um, I thought, oh, man, if I hit this thing with a rock once and it came back, it means business the second time. So um, I picked up another rock and I just chucked it at it just as hard as I could. And um, I nailed it again. I don't know what the odds of that are. But, um it wasn't that far from me, so it wasn't like a miraculous shot like uh, with that snake. With that snake, that was a pretty a pretty amazing throw. Um, I, I was just lucky, I think. But these two, it was a lot closer, so it wasn't that hard. But anyway, I nailed it, and uh, it took off. And uh, it kind of made like a, I don't know, I've never really heard a fox make a noise before. It was, it was like a cat and a dog mixed together. That's the only way I can explain it. So um, it took off, and luckily I hadn't seen it, but... Uh, since then, but I'm still a little nervous, even, you know, with where I've got my pit, my tent pitched, but I climbed in and out probably 10 more of them gullies, and I kept snagging, like, my little toe on rocks, like, the way it would hit in my shoe, and, uh, when I took my shoes off, I looked at my feet, and, uh, they don't look so hot, um, it looks like my two pinky toenails are gonna, like, fall off, and, uh, they looked fine a few days ago, but I think it's really just because of all the, uh, just, accidentally hitting these rocks here at night because I can't really see where I'm going because um, right around that whole fox incident oh yeah that was when um, I've been walking along a gas line that was like paved and the gas line like did like a like a no outlet cul-de-sac kind of thing just in the middle of the desert and it just stopped and I was like oh boy so oh it's been rough but uh I'm just happy to be alive um Good night, kind of.